The Attorney General spoke of the government's position on the court's decision on the government's money management regulation, citing areas that didn't meet the spirit of the Constitution. I have recommended that the agencies, the, the lead agencies in this, involved in this matter, namely Finance, Treasury, and our own um, State Solicitor's Office, to start the consultation process, um, look at the uh, guidance that's been given by the Supreme Court uh, in, in coming up with uh, advice uh, and a position that uh, NEC should consider uh, in terms of the uh, repair work that must happen in a new bill, an amended bill or a new bill being, being passed. This comes on the back of a five-man Supreme Court 175-page ruling in favor of the country's Ombudsman Commission, saying that there were constitutional breaches, one of which was not allowing aggrieved custodians of government or line agency accounts to challenge for their monies in court. The Supreme Court is, is not going to take that kind of nonsense. It's, it's just basically saying if the people are aggrieved by executive arm and the decision of executive arm, they have a right to go to the courts. The Public Money Management Regularization Act was enacted in 2017, aimed at complementing the previous Public Finance Management Act of 2015. According to government, the act was initially aimed at managing government revenue and flows from all different government accounts into one basket. This also enabled the government to have clear oversight into revenue and revenue streams that's easy to draw down under the national budget. The invalid PMMR Act prior to its introduction was done outside of public legal input and without proper consultation. If a law is intended to affect the rights and freedom of our people, that law must go through public consultation process. That's why we have the Constitutional Law Reform Commission set up. It is a commission established by constitutional law to allow that process to occur. The decision by the Supreme Court now gives leverage to agencies like fisheries and forestry to operate fluidly because they depend on revenue to run their programs. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.